for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.gatemec.com question number 19 what is the cube root of 14682 three decimal places in competitive exams what you can do is simply cube root you substitute that you find out cube of this each option and then whichever is closer to the given uh, question then you can choose that option but for this you need calculators particularly to do this or otherwise <coughs> one one way is by substitution substitution of the given options the other way is by following proper method that method is using newton method okay so the given equation is x is equal to say suppose cube root 1468 is what we have to find out so i would cube it both the sides so it will be x cube is equal to 1468 so my equation will be of the form x cube minus 1468 is equal to 0 now i will use newton raphson method where initial approximation all xn plus 1 is equal to the formula is you have to remember this xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of x by f dash of x so here you have to take an initial approximation first if you observe all the options carefully everything is 11.34 11.35 11.36 11.38 11 let us take an initial approximation x0 is equal to 11.3 by observing the given options now <coughs> f of x we already know x cube minus 1468 f of x is x cube minus 1468 now f dash of x will be x cube is 3x square x power n is n into x power n minus 1 so 3 into x power 3 minus 1 is 2 3x square constant is 0 so now let us take x not is initial approximation is from the given options 11.3 so what is f of 11.3 you find out so that is 11.3 whole cube minus 1468 that will be that will be minus 25.103 minus 25.103 okay <coughs> what is f dash of 11.3 that is 3 into 11.3 whole square that will be 38307 that is 383.07 now you substitute f x not f dash in the in this equation now you will get x1 the next approximation will be xn is what we have taken x0 that is 11.3 minus f of x is minus 25.103 by f dash f x is 383.07 so minus minus becomes plus here so this will be 11.3 plus 25.103 by 383.07 would comes to be around 0.0655 0.0655 so it will be 11.3655 so the closest option is option c so question number 20 f of x has been given it is defined as f of x is equal to minus pi in the interval minus pi to 0 it will be equal to pi in the interval 0 to pi for the <coughs> in the in the fourier series expansion of f of x what is the coefficient of sin 5x is what is asked the coefficient of sin 5x from the definition of fourier expansion we know fourier expansion of any function f of x will be equal to the formula is a not by 2 plus sigma is equal sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos nx plus bn sin nx where an bn also has some definitions now here what he has asked is what is the coefficient of sin nx so bn is from the definition only what is bn is 1 by pi integral alpha to alpha plus 2 pi bn is f of x sin nx dx this is the definition of bn now what he has asked is sin 5x so when n is equal to 5 we have to find this the interval what he has given is 
minus pi to plus pi. So b5 is what we have to find out. That will be 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x is f of x okay into sin 5x dx but f of x has a two definitions between minus pi to 0 and 0 to pi so this minus pi to pi we have to divide into two intervals where this can be written as 1 by pi f of x 1 by pi this i will write it as minus pi to 0 there f of x is f of x is in minus pi to 0 f of x is minus pi so this will be minus pi sin 5x dx plus integral 0 to pi in 0 to pi interval f of x is equal to pi so this will be pi sin 5x dx so here from both the terms you take out pi as common this is constant so outside it will be pi i will take it out so it will be pi in by pi so pi pi gets cancelled into minus sin 5x what is the integration of minus sin 5x cos 5x by 5 okay this is from the between the limits minus pi to 0 plus this is sin 5x so this will be minus cos 5x by 5 between the limits 0 to pi okay you evaluate this this will be cos 0 by 5 pi pi got cancelled got cancelled so this is cos 0 by 5 minus cos minus pi minus 5 pi by 5 cos 0 minus cos minus 5 pi by 5 plus this will be minus cos 5 pi by 5 minus minus cos 0 by 5 okay now cos 0 is 1 we know cos of minus theta is cos theta only so this can be written as cos 5 pi cos 5 pi is nothing but cos 4 pi you can uh, take it out 2 into how how many our multiples are there of 2 pi you can remove so it will be 4 pi you can remove so cos pi it will be cos pi is nothing but how much it is also 1 cos pi is equal to 1 minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 okay so here 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 2 by 5 here it is again the same way cos minus 5 is minus 1 so minus of minus plus 1 so 1 by 5 cos 0 again 1 so minus of minus 1 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 this will be equal to 4 by 5 the answer is a and after coming till this stage you can simply see all what is there is cos 0 and pi okay so cos 0 would always be 1 and cos pi would be either 1 or 0 we have to think of that otherwise every in all the places the denominator here is only 5 so you can be sure in the given options only this option contains 5 in the denominator rest everything contains something else so they can never be the answers for this question so the option you can directly tick it after coming to this level after coming to this level particularly because integration involves by 5 so this would only be the option suppose if we give something else like by 5 uh, 4 by 4 by 3 by 5 or something then you have to evaluate till the last step so question number 21 what is the value of 1525 power 0.2 to two decimal places options are 4.33 4.36 4.38 and 4.30 now the solution as we have discussed for question number 19 one way of doing this is directly substitute the given options in the equation so what we need is 1525 power 0.2 it means both sides you make it 5 times so x power 5 shall be equal to 1525 power 0.2 into 5 so that would be 1 so x power 5 is equal to 1525 or x power 5 minus 1525 is equal to 0 this is the equation so what you can do in the first place is substitute each given each values in this 
find the fifth power of each 4.33 4.36 4.38 4.3 and 4.30 whichever is closest to 1525 you tick that as the answer okay otherwise what you can do follow newton raphson method where approximation where approximation x uh, xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of x by f dash of x here what is the initial approximation that we can take observe the given values 4.3336 so you find you take 4.3 as the initial approximation then you find out x of n plus 1 that is x1 is equal to 4.3 minus f of 4.3 by f dash of 4.3 okay this is f of 4.3 is this is the f of x so f of 4.3 will be 4.3 power 5 minus 1525 f dash of 4.3 will be x power 5 so 5 into x power 4 5 into x power 4 so f dash of 4.3 will be 5 into 4.3 power 4 so if you evaluate these two expressions it will be minus 54.92 approximately so this will be 1709.40 okay now substitute both of these equations here that is 4.3 minus this is minus 54.92 by f dash of 4.3 is 1709.4 so minus minus will become plus here so 4.3 plus approximately 0 0.03 so this would be around 4.33 so the answer is 4.33 so question number 23 u has been given u is equal to log x square plus log of x square plus y square by x plus y then what is the value of x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y what you have to recollect here is u has been given as log of x square plus y square by x plus y you can write this as e power u is equal to x square plus y square by x plus y assume this e power u to be some other function as v now v is a homogeneous function if you find lamb delta x and uh, some n x n y if you substitute it will be n square x square plus n square y square by n x plus n y n if you take out common so v of n x n y if you do it n square x square plus n square y square by n x plus n y n square on top n square would uh, you can take out common bottom n you can take out common so that will be n square by n so n into x square plus y square by x plus y that is nothing but again v of x y so this is a homogeneous function homogeneous function now the order is here it is 2 here it is 1 so 2 2 minus 1 that is of the order 1 so if the given function v is a homogeneous function of order 1 then from Euler's equation we can write x dou v by dou x plus y dou v by dou y is equal to n into v that n is nothing but 1 into v here v is equal to what e power u you substitute that x into dou by dou x of e power u so dou by dou x of e power u plus y into dou by dou y of e power u that is equal to v v is nothing but again e power u now this can be this we can write it as x into dou by dou x of e power u is nothing but e power u into dou u by dou x similarly y into dou by dou y of e power u is nothing but e power u into dou u by dou y this will be equal to e power u now you can cancel e power u both the sides it will be x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y is equal to 1 so the answer is b if you don't remember this homogeneous property of the, from the Euler's equation what you can do is the given equation is u is equal to log of x square plus y square by x plus y so now what you can do is what is dou u by dou x log of it is of the form log of some f, f of x so 1 by f of x so 1 by 
whatever log of is there x square plus y square by x plus y into or otherwise rather you can write it this way u is equal to log of x square plus y square by x plus y you can x you can write it as log of x square plus y square minus log of x plus y now you can differentiate it easily dou u by dou x is equal to this is 1 by x square plus y square into with respect to x you have to do a derivation of the inside whatever is there so with respect to x x square is 2x with respect to x y square is 0 so this is into 2x minus this is 1 by x plus y into with respect to x partial derivation of x plus y is with respect to x partial derivation of x is 1 plus y is 0 so it will be into 1 similarly dou u by dou y again 1 by x square plus y square into with respect to y it will be x square is 0 y square is 2y minus this is 1 by since log x is 1 by x so this is 1 by x plus y into with respect to y x is 0 y is 1 so x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y you can multiply with x so it will be 2x square by x square plus y square minus x by x plus y this is 2y square by x square plus y square minus y by x plus y so 2x square plus 2y square by x square plus y square that is nothing but so i will write it here if you write that uh, x x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y it will be 2x square plus 2y square by x square plus y square that is 2 minus x by x plus y plus y by x plus y so x plus y by x plus y that is minus 1 so the answer is 1 but what you have to do here is instead of doing direct differentiation which will involve the complication of calculations what you can do is you write log a by b as log a minus log b so then it is easy to differentiate log a log f of a is nothing but 1 by f of a into f dash of a again you have to differentiate with respect to x here with respect to y here you substitute you will get answer directly for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com